Welcome back to the watch list. I'm Nicole Petalides. Time to take a look at American Express, which has been up throughout this day. Many of the names that reported earnings today, even with beats, took down arrows. American Express was a different story, right? Some good numbers. The stock's up five and a quarter percent. Let's hear what our panel has to say. Thomas Say is with us, founder, The Sevens Report, and Michael Miller, equity analyst over at Morningstar. Michael, I'll start with you. Break down the American Express takeaways, in your opinion. Did you think it was good news, and what's the outlook? Yeah, I would say it was um, quite a strong report, just like the market reaction is implying. Um, revenue growth was double digit, 11%. Um, really, the driver behind that revenue growth, at least the most significant one, was uh, net, in net interest income, where the shift that American Express has been making towards younger cardholders is really helping them drive higher levels of borrowing. Um, net interest income was up 26%, and that's really what allowed them to generate that high revenue growth. Um, cost controls were also excellent. Operating expenses were only up 3% year over year, and that led to a really impressive 39% growth in uh, earnings per share. Cost controls, keeping those operating expenses at bay. Um, just quickly on the net interest income, Michael, that was up 26 percent. How would you, how does that rate into what we've been seeing over the last few quarters or years? Well, for American Express, it is a bit of a deceleration. Um, this shift into more lending has been going on for a while, and last year they were maintaining into the low 30s. So it is a bit lower, but still um, obviously quite high. It's above what we've seen their peers. Most of the other card issuers are looking into high single digits or double digit or kind of mid teens. So we are seeing deceleration there. Um, honestly, 30% is just not sustainable in the long term, but still really strong momentum. Yeah. Young people in travel, travel too, helped American Express. What are your thoughts, Thomas? Yeah, I, I think it was, I agree. I think it was a good print. And, and you know, I tend to look at American Express, especially from a macro standpoint. I want to see what they're saying about general spending uh, and also about their charge off rates. And I think that what we saw was generally positive, right? We saw overall spending, I believe, was up about 7% year over year spending on the card. And then their charge off rates, it, it is $1.3 billion. But that's in line with analyst estimates. Up a touch from last year, but nothing crazy. So as I look through the, the report beyond just the execution that Amex achieved, from a macro standpoint, it's actually giving us a decent look at the consumer, especially at the high end. Uh, we're not seeing any sort of ill effects from sustained higher interest rates or sustained higher inflation. Do you think that's going to continue, Thomas? Because it's good to see that people are spending and you see it up 7, 8 percent. Um, that's certainly reassuring. Do you expect that to continue going forward? I do. I think that Amex is in a really good spot uh, in sort of the consumer spending spectrum, uh, because with the unemployment rate as low as it is, and especially with, with higher end unemployment, professional unemployment, even lower than what we're seeing in the national averages, I think that these people will continue to spend. I don't see any major economic upsets coming down the pike. So uh, especially considering Amex's ability to control costs this quarter, I think the outlook is, is solid. All right. Um, over at Morningstar, what's the rating on American Express and how does it rate compared to some of the competitors? Would you consider uh, MasterCard, Visa, um, I, I don't know, Discover? Would you consider those direct competitors? And uh, right now, American Express has been the clear leader as far as the stock year to date. Well, American Express kind of sits in this weird spot between the different firms, um, where you know Visa and MasterCard are just pure payment networks, where Amex is kind of a card issuer and a payment platform. Um, technically, while Discover does have their own payment platform, that company generates 80% of its income from net interest. So it is primarily a lender. Um, so I will say in general, Amex does lean a little more towards Visa and MasterCard, where they are generating the majority of their revenue from, spent, from spending volume. But it is kind of its own unique firm in terms of its exposures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, it used to be that it was for a more affluent uh, group and uh, they would spend more, et cetera. I don't know if that's still the case. What's your rating on American Express? Are they all buys in your opinion, Michael? Um, so 
right now from Air Express, I kind of see more as a hold to even potentially sell after the day's um, movement. And this is really just a question of price. The company has performed fantastically over the last couple of years with really good execution. Um, credit costs are essentially at or at slightly below their historical levels compared to their peers where everyone else is above at this point. So I do kind of see it as um, something for investors to stay away from for right now, but that's largely based on price, not on anything to do with the company or its strength. Yeah. And a quick final thought, Thomas. I'll leave it to you. Obviously, the charge-offs, uh, the cost controls have been good. Final thoughts. Yeah, I think that that not just for Amex, but for the credit cards, especially as they as they report during this earnings season, really pay attention to what management say, is saying about consumer spending and then those delinquency rates. If you know slowing growth is the biggest risk to this market to having this pullback turn into something more substantial, we've really got to pay attention to what these companies are saying about spending. We're all about to get a really good look. First shot by Amex, very positive. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt that credit card debt has been um, very prevalent. Um, defaults, it's been problematic, particularly in this high rate environment, this buy now, pay later, or some of these rates are 20, 25, 30 percent, and then people won't be able to catch up. So that's, that's one right. concern, too. Thank you very much, Tom and Michael, Thomas A. and Michael Miller. Thomas A. of the Sevens Report and Michael Miller of Morningstar, thank you.